Lois Nettleton was a well-known actress known for her great performances in different areas like stage, movies, and TV. Maybe you recall the first time you saw her acting or have a special memory related to her work. Feel free to share your stories and memories in the comments below. And stay tuned because there are many interesting, surprising, and sad facts about her coming up, so keep watching this video. Lois Nettleton, born in Oak Park, Illinois, came from a humble background. Her family encouraged her love for acting since she was young. She pursued acting studies at Northwestern University, where she developed her skills and gained experience. Winning the Miss Chicago title was a turning point in her career. It opened doors in modeling and acting, leading to various opportunities in entertainment. Throughout her career in theater, television, and film, Nettleton took on diverse roles, showcasing her talent. Despite facing challenges, she remained resilient and continued to explore new opportunities. Her determination and passion for acting earned her respect in the industry. Her early life, supportive family, and significant achievements laid the groundwork for her successful career. In conclusion, Nettleton's journey from Oak Park to the entertainment industry was fueled by her talent and perseverance. She made a lasting impact in acting, leaving behind a legacy admired by many. In 1959, Lois Nettleton showed her acting skills by winning a Clarence Derwent Award for Best Supporting Performance in God and Kate Murphy. This marked the start of her impactful career. In 1976, she got a Tony Award nomination for her role in They Knew What They Wanted, where she proved her talent on Broadway. This nomination showed how well she could bring depth to her characters. In WGM TV, known for changing station managers often, Nettleton briefly held a role there, alongside other actors like Richard Rote, Robert Hogan, Ron Rifkin, David Ogden Stiers, and Vincent Gardenia. Stiers was the only one who appeared multiple times as manager. Her work in both stage and screen showed her versatility and skill. From early awards to her Broadway nomination and involvement in WGM TV, she left a lasting impact on entertainment. Lois Nettleton, a lifelong supporter of the Democratic Party, went to a Twilight Zone event in 2006 at the Hilton in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. In the show The Fugitive, she played a character named Lucy Russell, alongside actors such as Kurt Russell, Peter Richard Anderson, Ed Begley Jr., and Paul Richards. The Fugitive often had actors making repeat appearances, and Nettleton's role added richness to the series, showing how skilled she was as an actress. She left a strong impression on the entertainment world, especially through her role as Lucy Russell. Lois Nettleton had a significant career with many highlights. She became known for her role as Clara Varner in The Long Hot Summer, a movie based on William Faulkner's stories. In that movie, she won a Golden Globe Award for Best New Actress. Nettleton also starred in Period of Adjustment, a romantic comedy adapted from a Tennessee Williams play, showing her talent for both serious and funny roles. In 1975, her acting in the TV movie Fear on Trial got her an Emmy nomination. She appeared in various TV shows like The Twilight Zone, Gunsmoke, and The Fugitive. Her ability to play different characters made her popular in both movies and TV shows. Nettleton's dedication to acting and her knack for bringing depth to characters left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. She's remembered fondly for her work, cementing her place as a talented actress. Lois Nettleton made a notable debut in A Face in the Crowd as Mr. Macy's nurse, although she wasn't credited for it. She then went on to star in various roles, including Dulcie Me in The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. What's interesting is her collaboration with Burt Reynolds, who played Ed Earl in the same film. Before that, they had worked together in a Chicago production of The Rainmaker in 1972. This connection between them adds depth to their on-screen chemistry. Despite her roots in Chicago and time spent in California, Nettleton's final resting place is at St. Raymond's Cemetery in the Bronx, New York. It reflects the diverse journey she took throughout her life and career. This trajectory of Nettleton's career showcases her versatility as an actress and the lasting impression she made in entertainment, securing her place in cinematic history. From the age of seven, she loved putting on little plays in her backyard, showing she was born to perform. Her parents, Edward and Virginia Nettleton, always supported her creativity. In 2007, she went to a Twilight Zone convention in New Jersey, which honored the famous show where she made a big impact with her great acting. Before that, she was Miss Chicago in 1948 and made it to the semifinals in the Miss America pageant that same year. 
These early experiences, along with her natural talent, led her to success in Hollywood. Her journey from those backyard shows to Hollywood shows how much she loved acting and worked hard to get there. Lois Nettleton's story keeps inspiring actors all over the world, showing how powerful storytelling through acting can be. Actress Lois Nettleton became well-known on the radio when she was the first person to call Gene Shepard's late-night show on WRAM. After that, she regularly appeared on the show as the caller. Together, they came up with the idea of a call-in radio program, having interesting chats with listeners. Her role on the show was important, shaping its unique appeal and setting the stage for similar programs later on. Her presence on the show became famous, leaving a lasting impression on broadcasting. She brought a special charm and cleverness to the radio, grabbing people's attention with her interesting talks and quick back and forth. The connection between her and Shepard sparked a new interest in interactive radio, leading to more engaging shows. Her work on the show not only entertained, but also inspired many others in radio. The influence she left behind continues to affect radio hosts and listeners today, showing how much she changed the medium. Through her talent and charm, she made radio broadcasting even better, leaving a lasting memory on the airwaves. This collaboration between her and Shepard shows how powerful real conversations can be on the radio. It's a reminder of the special connection that can happen when people talk over the airwaves. Lois Nettleton, known for her work in film, TV, and theater, had an interesting role in the mystery series Columbo. In one episode titled Forgotten Lady, she played a former movie star trying to revive her career. What might surprise fans is that her character meets a tragic end, making her one of the few murderers in the series to die by the end of the episode. This was different from the usual Columbo storyline and left a strong impression on viewers, adding depth to Nettleton's performance. Nettleton worked in the entertainment industry for many years, showing her talent in various ways. Despite facing challenges, she kept acting with determination. Throughout her career, she took on a variety of roles in different genres, showing how versatile she was as an actress. Whether on screen or stage, her performances resonated with audiences. Besides acting, Nettleton also spoke out about important social issues, using her platform for good. This adds to her reputation beyond just being a talented actress. Despite obstacles, Lois Nettleton's work lives on as a reminder of her talent and determination. Fans and industry professionals continue to appreciate what she did. Her influence will be remembered for a long time. Lois Nettleton's journey in the entertainment world had a sad twist. Despite her success, she struggled personally, especially with her short-lived marriage to actor Gene Shepard. The end of their relationship after just two years highlighted the tough side of her life. This experience affected her deeply, showing the challenges that fame can bring. But despite these hurdles, she kept going, staying dedicated to acting. Throughout her career, Nettleton showed incredible skill and versatility, winning over audiences with her many roles. From Broadway to the big screen and TV, she made her mark in the industry. Her commitment to acting and her ability to become different characters made her stand out as a real pro. Despite her personal struggles, Lois Nettleton's impact lives on with fans and colleagues valuing her work in entertainment. Her talent and determination inspire aspiring actors, showing that success often comes with difficulties. Remembering Lois Nettleton is not just about her career, but also about her strength in tough times.